Today we're going to go over a five tube pipe position using the shielded metal arc welding process. Uh, this is one of the hardest positions there is. Uh, on paper, it's, they're going to say 6G supersedes 5G, and it does. Uh, but I think a lot of welders would agree that 5G is actually harder than 6G. If you can uh, get a code quality weld on this, you're doing well as a welder. Uh, this is a mock joint. Uh, this is 3 eighths of an inch thick. Uh, we're going to do three passes here. Uh, your root pass is 60, 10, 3, 30 seconds. Uh, you're going to do a hot pass with 60, 10, 3, 30 seconds of an inch. And then you're covered, you're going to weave a 70, 18, 3, 30 seconds of an inch. So the reason we go to 3, 30 seconds on this, it's very hard to use eighth of an inch and not have some, some blowouts or a drip. Your uh, face, uh, we put a nice big face on this. It's an uh, eighth of an inch, at least, probably a, a thick eighth of an inch, because you want to have a little bit more meat there for when you're going up this pipe. Um, three thirty sixths of an inch uh, uh, root opening. Not huge, but probably the biggest one that we use. Uh, the 6010, we're going to run around 70 amps. And your 70 lean, we're going to run around 95 amps. Crank it up a little bit. Uh, do the flux. This is another mock-up of the pipe that we're using here. We're going to start at the bottom, work our way up, finish right here at the top. With your root pass, you're going to start at the bottom, end somewhere about halfway up the pipe. Then you're going to have to strike another one, keep going. Again, your start and stops are the hardest thing to uh, make look good and have complete fusion. And then you go to the other side, do the same thing. The uh, hot pass, number two here, you can pretty much make it all the way up. It's quick, you're just trying to burn everything together, burn out any slag, and you go to the other side, do the same thing. And last, your cover pass here is a lot like your, your root. You're gonna get about halfway here, and then finish it up here at the top and do the same thing on the other side. Uh, your pipe diameter is 3.5 inches, or three and a half inches ID inside diameter, with a wall thickness, of, again, of about three eighths of an inch. So we'll go out in the lab and we'll start burning this in. Now uh, this is our fit up for our uh, 5G pipe stick welding and we took the tack and we're at a weird angle here it looks like it's about halfway up but it's not it's a little bit less than halfway up and the reason you do that is so you can run it over right before you stop you'll be at your hottest point and if you look at the bottom you see there's no tack at the bottom you don't want to have a tack at the bottom because you're not going to be you know already progressively welding to I'll burn through that tack. So no tack at the bottom, and you want to be able to, you know, make sure you burn through the tacks before you stop. So we'll get going on the first 6010 here. got going on here is a little bit bigger of a keyhole than I want. I'm going to strike the arc back here, get it established, then go in there and fill that baby and hopefully roll back up here around to the top.
taking a look at our penetration here. Usually with 5G, the penetration is not the problem. It's usually the covers. This came out pretty good. That's our start and our stops right there. That's the bottom of it anyways, where we started and moved up. There's the one flaw we got that's noticeable, and you can see there's a little bit of lack of penetration. That would make it so you couldn't bend it. There's the top. That fused in pretty nicely. There's the other side, and back to the beginning. We just finished up our root passes. Did a little grind job, just smoothed it out in the middle, got rid of all the slag. Now we're going to do a hot pass over our root pass, and then we'll wrap it up with a 7018 cover.
these are the cover passes for the uh, 5G pipe. 7018, 330 seconds of an inch. This is the bottom of the pipe. Again, I stuck it in the lathe just to kind of spin it around evenly. So I'll slowly spin it. It came out pretty good. The top, believe it or not, is where we have the biggest error, which is right there. You see that little spot of lack of fill? I had that rod uh, angled completely backwards and it still had some flux I couldn't get to get out of there. So it left us with a little bit of lack of fill. You can see it right there. On the very top. Usually the bottoms are everybody really screws up, but maybe some some undercut spots. I think it's more of lack of fill than undercut. There's the bottom again, I think. And we'll keep we'll roll it on one more time. That's all we got for the day. It's a hard position. If you can stick this and get it to be cold quality, you're doing good. It should be. That's all we got for today, so thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld.